Hi, I'm Ken Smith with Bernie's Nursery. What I'm planting is a honey crisp apple, and you've probably all seen it in the grocery stores. Fairly new in the market, really crisp, crisp, really sweet, ripens late in the year, and it keeps really well. So it, it's an excellent apple for our area. It likes the climate here real well. First thing I want to do is I want to amend the soil mix a little bit. Dr. Earth Fruit Tree Fertilizer, and they want to use about uh, two cups for every five gallons worth of dirt. Now I've got a pile of dirt here I took out of the hole, looks like it's probably about 15 gallons, so I'm gonna use about six cups of this fertilizer. I'm just gonna take and sprinkle it all around half a box, that should be about right. I'm just gonna go in here and stir it up, just mix it, keep it going like that. And that's the soil that we're going to put back in the hole with the fruit tree. And we're just going to put it in the hole like that and start putting the soil in and mix it with our soil building compost here. About one part soil to one part soil building compost. I'm going to get the air pockets out of it with my foot until it stays the, the tree there. A few more. That soil building compost in there. Okay. okay, I think we're getting pretty close now. Just a couple more shovelfuls of dirt. I have it. I'm just going to kick that in there and try to leave that sod out if I can, but it doesn't hurt anything if it does get in there. A little more soil building compost all around the stem. Remember, I want to leave this bud up on top of the ground. So I'm going to work that in like, like we did before. Take out all the air pockets and now I'm going to top dress it with this soil building compost all the way around. That'll help keep the moisture in and it's good earthworm food. It'll get the earthworms working in there and they'll bring that compost down into the root zone even more. But I want to make sure that I'm, I'm going to run my shovel handle across there, check my bud union, yep, I'm at the right height. It's just where I want it, with that union, just above the, the ground level. All I want to do now is water and a little bit of light pruning. Yep. Okay, now that we've got it all planted, it's ready to go, it's been watered in, we need to prune it a little bit. Now, we just did a video on pruning in fruit trees and uh, I want you to, if you've seen that video, forget everything I told you in that because there's a little change that we do with a newly planted tree, especially a bare root tree. Instead of cutting the tips off, I have, let me tell you that trees, plants produce an auxin, an A-U-X-I-N, that goes to the very top of the tree and it keeps the very tip growing. And that auxin produces a chemical that stimulates root growth. So if I go up here and prune this like I would a regular established fruit tree, I'm going to stop its ability to produce that auxin that stimulates the roots. It won't kill the tree if you do it, but it'll grow roots a lot faster and it'll get established a lot faster. So all I'm going to do right now, I'm going to take off these little side branches, these little laterals that aren't going to amount to anything, kind of open it up. It's going to be real easy this time. And I'm going to take off, this is a small branch down here, I think I'm going to get rid of it. And I'm going to leave it alone till probably August or September when it's well established. By that time, the ends of the branches will have produced that auxin, the roots will be well stimulated, and then you can go ahead and prune it back like I showed you in the other video. And simply by cutting it back about a third, cutting it above an outside bud, trying to form uh, a candelabra, if you will. That's the best shape to think of when you're pruning a fruit tree. They need to be open in the center and have branches around the outside. 